All right, this video is how to make an audio recording on QuickTime Player. First, we have to open it. I have it in my toolbar down here, so I can just slide over. And if I go up and down with my cursor, see, watch, it opens it up. And I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna click on QuickTime Player. It's gonna open up this window, but I don't need this window. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel it. And I'm gonna come all the way up here to the top. I'm gonna hit File, and I'm gonna hit do audio recording. It's going to open up this box. All right, so in this box, you've got a little circle with a red dot in it. Um, next to it is a little arrow. If you click the arrow, it's going to tell you a little bit about what's going on. We're going to use the internal microphone. That's the microphone that's in the uh, computer. And I got it, the quality on high. Okay, so that's cool. Now to record, I'm going to click here. When I do, you're going to see a countdown here, and you're going to see this start to accumulate. Um, some data points. Ready? Here we go. All right, so here we are. You can see it's going one, two, three, four, and the file is getting larger. It's uh, over 300 uh, kilobytes or whatever that is. Now, whenever you want to stop it, all you have to do is click here. It's going to bring us another box when we do that. And now this box, we can play it. And when I play it, you're going to hear it. All right, so here we are. You can see it's going one, two, three, four, and the file is getting left. If I want to stop it, I can just click there. Um, now, if you want to save it, you would click on this red button, and what it's going to do is bring bring you a new box, and in this box, you can name it, you know, whatever you want to call the audio file. You can put tags on it, and you can direct it where you want to save. You can save it on an external hard drive, or you can put it, you know, in your, I don't know, in your music or I don't whatever but I don't really want this so I'm just going to hit delete and get rid of it bam and that's it and that's how you use QuickTime Player to make an audio recording if you like this video subscribe to my channel check out my other awesome videos on how to do stuff peace out